Hey guys, so it is day nine here, and I had this really interesting thought today that I wanted to share with you guys, because often patients of parotidectomies or radiation patients, head and neck radiation patients, um, such as myself, we often uh, wonder why, just like everyone else. We wonder, why is this happening to me? We wonder, what did I do because I was so healthy? What did I do to create these tumors or whatever you have, right? And so I had this epiphany the other day, and I know, right? Um, I had this epiphany that that's not the point, right? The point is not for us to necessarily wonder why is this happening to me? And this is, you know, for any obstacle you have. Um, the point is not for us to find the answer necessarily of why. Uh, we need to leave that up to the doctors, right? We need to leave that up to the, the ones doing the research. The point for us as humans when we experience, you know, any obstacle in life really is not to ask the question why, but to ask the question, well, what am I thankful for? Um, oftentimes you can ne negate all of those feelings that you have about, oh, I'm inadequate or I did something wrong or the hate you can even feel um, or the anger for like, why is this happening to me? Um, and one of the ways that it's really important to negate those feelings is to always remember what it is we're thankful for. Because number one, we can only control what it is that we can actually control. And number two, in my own experience, every time I do this, which is a lot these days, <laughs> right? Um, every time I do this and I think to myself, well, what is it that I'm thankful for? It immediately changes my whole attitude. Uh, it goes from one of maybe anger and like, you know, oh, why is this happening? To a feeling of um, gratefulness. And so today I wanna tell you a story about being grateful. You know, you guys all know that are following my journey. I'm over here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And there's a lot of hospitals um, and there's a lot of sick people, obviously, going in and out and doing all the things. And the other day I was on my way walking to my treatment and I was wondering to myself, why is this happening to me? Why am I doing this? You know, missing my kids, missing my family and all of that. And I go and I pass somebody who's in a wheelchair who obviously had just come out of surgery who had just come out of the hospital. And the closer that I get to him, he's chatting you know, with whoever's with him, right? And I realize as I get closer to him that this man has no face. Like he has no face whatsoever. He has one little tiny hole for his eye. Um, he has, you know, all of this gone. So whether it had been cancer or whether it had been an accident or a burn victim, he did not have a face. And as I got closer and closer, and as I was passing him on the street, obviously, um, and he's chatting, you know, out of the little tiny hole in his mouth or whatever, and he's with his nurse too. And they're just talking about the daily life and the things. And my immediate thought was, how can I not be thankful? How can I not be thankful? You have a, a guy here who literally probably has just come out of surgery and lost his face. Um, and you are busy asking yourself, oh, why is this happening to me? So it's not, the point is not, oh, I feel better because he's this and that. That's not the point. The point is that it was a really good reminder of the why. It was a really good reminder of why are we here? We're not here on earth just simply to be avoiding obstacles and to have this sort of perfect life. We're here on this earth to experience, to grow, and to give, right? And so uh, what I'm experiencing hopefully in the future is going to help other people. It's going to help research. Um, I know probably my particular surgery, um, my doctor here at Mayo Clinic said it was the most difficult surgery he had ever done as a parotidectomy, very complex. I'm sure my face will be in some textbook somewhere. <laughs> and so uh, that's totally fine. And in 20 years, you know, I'm helping the research to hopefully help someone younger than me that gets what I have um, and help them have a better understanding. But I just wanted to throw that out here on day nine uh, because day nine hasn't been anything any different than some of the other days. I still have very low symptoms, just a little redness, but nothing major. But I just really have this thought of thankfulness today. And it's a really good reminder, especially if you're following my journey, that we need to stop asking why. We need to stop asking why is this happening? And the question really should be, what are we thankful for? What is our time on this earth gonna be spent doing? Is it going to be spent asking just ourselves over and over again, why, 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 why? 
Or is it going to be set spent and really, really enjoying and being thankful for the life we have? right? So no matter what you're going through, no matter what obstacles you're going through, just remember that. Remember every time you go to ask yourself, oh gosh, why is this happening to me? Maybe switch that and say to yourself, gosh, what kind of blessings? What am I thankful for today? I promise it will change your life. It will change who you are inside. It's changed me. Um, and moving forward, that's the person that I want to be. So I wanted to share that little message of joy with you today um, and have a great day. So what are you thankful for today?